Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Ashish Webcast. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the next video of how to set up two tier PKI environment series. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel Ashish Webcast and please watch my other videos as well. You will get the link for my other videos in the description box. So let's start this video without any further delay. So in this video, we will install and configure the online responder role service. So before we start the configuration, let's first understand what is online responder role service. So an online responder, it refers to online certificate status protocol that is OCSP responder. So OCSP is basically a protocol which is used to check the revocation status of digital certificate issued within a PKI framework. So when a client wants to verify the validity of a digital signature or certificate, it can send a request to an OCSP responder or you can say to online responder. The OCSP responder then checks the revocation status of the certificate and responds with a digitally signed message indicating whether the certificate is valid, revoked or unknown. So with this information, let's proceed with configuration of OCSP. So our first step will be to install the online responder role service on server 1. So right now I am logged in on server 1. So let's open server manager and click on add roles and feature. Let's expand this window. Here we have to click on next. We have to select role based or feature based installation and click on next. Server 1 is already selected so click on next. Here we have to check Active Directory Certificate Services and click on Add Features and click on Next. Here we have to leave everything default and click on Next. Click on Next again. So here we want to install the online responder role service so we will uncheck this certificate authority and check online responder and click on add features and click on next so this role will be installed so meanwhile we can switch to our issuing ca and add the OCSP URL to the issuing CA. So right now I am logged in on my enterprise issuing CA which is CA2 in my case. So I have to add the OCSP URL to this issuing CA. So I'll open server manager. I will click on tools and click on certificate authority. I will expand this window. So I will right click on Ashish webcast issuing CA and go to properties and go to extensions. In select extensions, I will choose AIA and I will click on add. So here I will paste. So if you can see, there's always a, uh, already a sample given for how to add OCSP URL. So I will also paste my URL and click on OK. And now we have to check this box only include in the online certificate status protocol OCSP extension and click on apply. So it will restart the ADCS service. So we need to click on yes and click on OK. So again we have to 
switch back to our server one which is online responder so now we will configure and publish the OCSP response signing certificate on our issuing CA so currently I am logged in on CA2 so now the certificate authority is already open so under Ashish webcast issuing CA I will click on certificate templates and right click on that and click on manage so this will open another window certificate templates console I will search for OCSP response signing template and right click on that and go to properties so here I will go to security tab and I will click on add I will click on object types and checkbox this computers and type server 1 and click on check names and click on ok and provide the read permission and enroll permission so basically what we have done we have given server 1 uh, to permission to read and enroll certificate from this OCSP response signing template so I will click on apply and click on ok I will close this window I will open the certificate authority again expand this issuing CA click on certificate templates this time we need to publish the template in our AD so that the online responder can search for that template and I will click on certificate templates click on new and click certificate template to issue so this will give me a list of templates available so I will search for OCSP response signing and I will click on OK so the template is published so now we have to configure revocation configuration on the online responder so I will switch back to our server 1 so currently the role is online responder role is also installed so I will close this and go to server manager I will click on this notification flag and click on configure active directory certificate services on the destination server expand this window so we don't have to do anything because it has already taken the credentials click on next so here I will select on select role services to configure which is online responder in my case and click on next and click on configure So the online res responder rule is configured. I will click on close. Now I will open online responder. I will click on tools. I will search for online responder management. And here I will click on revocation configuration. Right click on that and click on add revocation configuration. Here I will select next. I will give a name to this revocation. I will say Ashish webcast issuing CA and click on next. It will ask me to select a CA certificate location. I will keep the default which is select a certificate for an existing enterprise CA. I will click on next. So here it will ask me to choose a CA certificate. I will keep this default option selected. Browse CA certificates published in the Active Directory. I will click on Browse. So it will automatically show us the issuing CA certificate. I will click on OK. So here it has taken the certificate. I will click on Next. So here it will automatically 
select our OCSP signing certificate. So if you remember, we have published a template for that. So I will click on next. So here I will click on provider to verify. So it has automatically taken the, the base CRL uh, LDAP path and STT path. So here you can check this or uncheck this option because if you check this option, it will check for the CRLs after the last, the validity of last CRL is expired. So I'll uncheck this and I'll give 15 minutes value to update CRL after every 15 minutes. I will click on OK and I will click on Finish. So I will extend array configuration and under this I'll click on server1.ashish webcast. So here you can see the status. It says the response, uh, the signing certificate is okay. And Microsoft CRL based revocation status provider, the revocation provider is successfully using the current configuration. So this proves that we have successfully configured the online responder. So that's all for this video. Please watch my other videos. Till there, bye and take care.